bit of basic underfloor heat and fault finding. So first off, go to your thermostat, make sure there's a demand on there. We can tell there is because we have the little flame icon there. If we have the little frost symbol, it means we're in frost protection mode and we're gonna get no heat. So let's make sure we've got that flame symbol. Temperature's up, so there's a good demand and we'll go check out the manifold and wiring center. So once we've created our demand on our thermostat, we can come out or we can check over the underfloor heat and wiring center and the manifold. First thing we need to check is that we have power coming to this. We can tell this has got power to it because it's illuminated. But if yours isn't illuminated, the first thing we'll need to check is this is switched on. If that's not switched on, switch it on. If that's not the issue, we need to check the fuse inside there. If that's not the issue, we'll need to check that all the breakers are switched on for it. So you can see the underfloor heating is by here and it's switched on. Next, we need to see if there's a demand on this. So we can tell we got a demand on zone three by here which if we look down here will be the utility. We can tell this is flowing and we have no issues with it because we have flow going around the circuit by here and the actuator has lifted up. The flow can be adjusted, either increased like so or decreased by rotating this little flow meter. We can move across to the left hand side and we can see that our pump is on. We have lights on there showing we have flow going around. And we can go over to our little thermometer by here and show we have a flow temperature of about 34 degrees C. It's also worth noting that it's worth checking to make sure these valves are open also.